What up tubers, Bunny here and welcome back to Geoflight Simulator. So this week I'm going to be going over the cameras that this game offers. Now before I do that, I'm just going to make an announcement concerning these videos. From here on out, I'm going to be recording in GeoFS 3.0 as, as I record this. It's only been a couple of days since Xavier announced that he's about to move all of, he was about to move GeoFS to uh, 3.0 so that this would be the permanent version that can be played. It won't be in beta much longer. If it hasn't even uh, been officially released by the time that this video comes out. Uh, so anyway, without further ado, let me go ahead and get into uh, cameras. So you probably just notice that I just made these gauges reappear five seconds ago. How do I do that? I just hit the H key. Hit the H key on your keyboard and it can hide the uh, gauges and make them reappear. So what am I flying right now? I'm flying the Hughes Osage. It's an easy helicopter to fly. And I'll be covering that in more detail in another video for another time. But anyway, the first camera that I will show you is the uh, follow cam. So there are six default cameras in GeoFS. And the follow cam is the first one that you get familiar with when you first go into GeoFlight Simulator. Basically, it's a third-person mode camera, so to speak. And if you're wondering how I uh, am able to turn the camera in all sorts of directions, all you have to do is uh, click and drag anywhere on this uh, screen, and you can get any sort of angle you want. Like, I might pick this angle to go ahead and take off. So, pray that I don't crash, and, oh, that was a pretty sweet takeoff. Okay, so we are uh, flying. So, I picked the Hughes Osage to start with because uh, this helicopter, this vehicle, as well as several other uh, aircraft in Geo Flight Simulator, mostly uh, just helicopters, uh, those aircraft only have the six default cameras. So here you are, you're familiar now with the uh, third person, the follow cam. Uh, in fact, here's a menu over here, down here, uh, gives you all your different camera options. Follow cam, cockpit cam, cockpit list cam, chase cam, free cam, and fixed cam. These are the six default cameras that every aircraft has available in Geo Flight Simulator. Uh, as I said before, helicopters and probably some glares as well, I'm not sure off the top of my head, but they only have these cameras and no other unique cameras. That's right. Uh, aircraft can have uh, their own unique camera views that you can uh, select from. And am I heading in the right direction? No, I am not. So as you can see by this nav map, I am currently flying over LaGrange, Texas. Or, well, I'm trying to get to LaGrange, Texas. Right now I just seem to be flying out on the range. But, uh... So, there's actually an easier way to cycle through the different cameras that you can select in this game. So, you just hit the C key, and boom! You are now in a different, uh, you're now in a different camera. So, this is the cockpit camera, and you're able to get a good view around the, uh, cockpit of the Hughes Osage, which obviously is not very detailed at all, but again, I will be going over this aircraft in another video. Let's see, I think I'm finally, here we go, here's that old Texas town. So, 
yeah, this is cockpit view is basically your first person view camera. Uh, once again, you can click and drag to get a view from any angle, really. In fact, I think you can even, yeah, you can swivel your head 180 degrees like you're an owl or something. But if you're an owl, you don't even need to uh, be using an aircraft. If I hit C again, which I just did, uh, now I'm in a cockpitless cam. Basically, it's another first-person camera that you can use, but this view isn't uh, in the cockpit of the aircraft, as its name suggests. And you cannot click and drag to look around. Your, your view is fixed on what you see in the screen in front of you, and basically what's coming directly towards you, and nothing else. So if I go ahead and start this uh, banked turn, and let me make sure that I'm gaining altitude, not losing, because I just flew over a ledge. So let me hit the C key again. And now we are in the uh, chase cam. So the chase cam, uh, it's fixed in one spot in space, but you can also click and drag to move it around if you want. But basically what this does, it, it will uh, follow your helicopter. What am I doing? Uh, I'm pretty sure I'm dead at this point. I might not be dead. Okay, so, okay. Well, somehow I had survived that. Here we go, here we go, here we go. I'm moving back over to uh, the camera. But yeah. As you can see, the camera's been panning around this whole time, and it's supposed to do that. Uh, because, like I said, it's just following your helicopter, and it's getting away, so I'm going to go back into follow cam for a moment, just to get bearings on where exactly I am. Okay, I'm still over LaGrange. Okay, so, yes, chase cam, and you follow the helicopter. If you hit C, you get the uh, free cam. Now, free cam uh, is basically a good way to lose sight of your aircraft and have no idea whatsoever as to what you're doing because you can't even see the aircraft. But if you hit, if you click and drag, you should be able to, yeah. If you click and drag, you can move the camera around. In fact, there's my helicopter right there. There it is. There it is. In fact, I can even uh, rotate by clicking on the sky. And there you go. There you go. You see? You see? Uh, yeah, you just click and drag to move however you want. And yeah. So let me uh, pull up, pull up, pull up, pull up, pull up. If I haven't even crashed, in fact, let me hit C key. Maybe I can get an idea. Okay, so now I'm in the fixed cam. Now what this camera does is it locks your view on the helicopter. It's like the uh, it's like the cockpitless camera, only it's a third person version of it, so to speak. So if this camera yeah, you're basically locked into the helicopter's orientation, so if I, you know, bank left, you see the camera banks left. And now I'm heading toward that highway, I bank right, camera banks right. If I try a loop-de-loop, -loop, the copter, the camera is going to go into a loop-de-loop. -loop. I'm not going to try for a loop-de-loop -loop because I seem to be having a hard time keeping good control over this helicopter whatsoever. I'm lost again. Where am I? Oh, okay, if I just turn right, I head back over the town. So, yes. Free cam lets you uh, pick out any view you want for, for your flight. Uh, fixed cam is this. If you hit C again, you go back to the uh, follow cam. And watch out for the trees! Oh no, I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead, whoa! I'm not dead. I'm not dead. I'm not dead. 
I'm not dead. I'm not dead. I'm not dead. I'm not dead. I'm not dead. I'm 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 dead. Okay? I crashed into the river. I'm clearly dead. So, this is a good time for me to reset, go back to the airport, and actually, those were the six default cameras that you could choose from. Also, if your camera gets kind of awkward at any time and you don't know how exactly to fix it, you can be a little confusing, there is a reset button right here. Hit that and boom. Uh, my camera is reset. In fact, let me uh, go into Chase Cam and watch this. This will give you a better idea as to how the uh, Chase Cam works. Uh, hey, I'm going to reset my flight. There we go. There we go. So, now, if I can make sure that my helicopter is stable, there we go! You see? You see? You see? And that's how the uh, chase camera works. Uh, but maybe you want to go back to uh, third person. Maybe your camera got screwed up or something. What you do is hit this reset button. And there we go! I uh, went back into uh, this... Follow cam and let me see if I can uh, regain control of this helicopter. I can, I can. But now I actually feel like landing it. I, I, I can land it. I can land this thing safely. Watch, watch, watch. I can do it. There we go. I can land a helicopter safely. And this is actually one of the only helicopters that I can uh, land safely. But anyway, let me go ahead and reset the flight. Now I'm going to switch into a new aircraft. And I think I'm going to go with... Yes! The Cray Cray. You recall this aircraft from some of my other YouTube videos in the past few weeks. This is the uh, Colombian Cray Cray, which I like to call the Cray Cray. So, it, I'll go into uh, details about this aircraft in its own video as well at another time. But for right now, let me see. Let me just make sure. Oh, this aircraft also has the uh, six default cameras and none other. So, I'm going to need to uh, pick out another aircraft. Uh, let me go into community contributions. I feel like flying the A-10 Thunderbolt 2. So, take a look at this badass aircraft. It's basically a flying tank. And you see this thing right here? What my cursor is pointing at? This is the aircraft's toy. This toy is what makes, is part of what makes this aircraft badass. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, it can better be stated that my gun has an aircraft. Yeah, it's that powerful. But anyway, I'll go into details about this aircraft another time. But, I know for certain that this is a good aircraft to uh, show you some of the other cameras. So, actually, for one thing, let me hit C to go into the cockpit view. And, yeah, this is what the cockpit looks like. But, let's say you want another view in the cockpit. Well, some, some aircraft... Uh, okay, so right here, extra views. You see this tab right here. It's always above the six default cameras. But extra views are basically some other cameras unique to their certain aircraft. Now, for example, I'm going to hit the cockpit back. And I'm still in the cockpit, but you notice that my angle has shifted. So... Now I'm looking, I'm still looking at the aircraft from the cockpit, but just at a different angle, like, probably like some special angle, like you, like if you have like a fighter jet documentary or something, you might have something like this, I don't know. But okay, we're airborne, I'm going to bring the gear up, and actually, another extra view, for example, is uh, this tail. So, there we go. I'm seated in a camera now that's between these two big ol' engines, and so yeah, uh, I could keep babbling on about this specific uh, 
aircraft's cameras, but I really ought to save that for the A-10's video. So I'm going to hit the reset button in there. Now I am uh, back in the follow cam. And I think that pretty much describes everything. I think that's everything for cameras. So uh, I think that's going to go ahead and uh, do it for, for this week's video. So next week... I am going to begin describing various aircraft that you can fly in Geoflight Simulator. So, actually the first aircraft I'm going to be uh, demonstrating, if I go back into the list, let me close down this, drop down, and if I scroll down, you will see right here, the Evector Sports Star. I'm going to be describing this aircraft, which actually started this whole flight simulator. Well, anyways, I'll go into more detail about that aircraft in next week's video. Also, before I uh, say adios for the week, you'll notice this uh, radio button here, and it gives you all these uh, cool little uh, gadgets thing. I am going to be uh, holding off a video going over this thing until I can actually learn how to use it myself. Because it makes absolutely no sense for me to do a video teaching you how to use the dang radio if I can't even use the damn thing myself. So, oh, funny, I put that, okay, that was just weird. I used the euphemism and then I used the actual word. Okay. Anyway, uh, uh, yeah, that, that concludes this week's video. So, I'm Spacebun. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching. See you all next week. India Alpha Bravo checking out. Uh, India Alpha Bravo. I am not India Alpha Bravo anymore. Sorry, that's an old, that's an old outro of mine. Let me try this again. Sierra Bravo 717 checking out. There we go. What is going on with me today? Anyway, bye guys.